shine forth and let thy light restore us own to loveliness once more. All praise eternal Son to thee, whose advent sets thy people free. Whom with the Father we adore, and Holy Spirit evermore. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everyone. This morning's Mass is being offered for Maria Semina. Semino, excuse me, for the repose of her soul on her 100th birthday from all her family. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son. But may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. The first reading is a reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall bloom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, a spirit of wisdom and of understanding, a spirit of counsel 
and of strength, spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord. And his delight shall be the fear of the Lord. Not by appearance shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. <coughs> justice shall be the band around his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hip. Then the wolf shall be a guest of the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with the little child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together their young shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den, and the child lay his hand on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the Lord. And as water covers the sea, on that day the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations the Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. <coughs>
Second reading is a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, whatever was written previously was written for our instruction, that by endurance and by the encouragement of the scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to think in harmony with one another in keeping with Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome one another, then as Christ welcomed you for the glory of God. For I say that Christ became a minister of the circumcised to show God's truthfulness, to confirm the promises to the patriarchs, but so that the Gentiles might glorify God for his glory. As it is written, therefore, I will praise you among the Gentiles and sing praise to your name. The word of the Lord. Be to God. Please stand for the gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. John the Baptist appeared, preaching in the desert of Judea, and saying, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It was of him that the prophet Isaiah had spoken when he said, a voice of one crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord, make straight his paths. John wore clothing made of camel's hair and had a leather belt around his waist. His food was locusts and wild honey. At that time, Jerusalem, all Judea, and the whole region around the Jordan were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. When he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees coming to his baptism, he said to them, You brood of vipers, who warned you to flee from the coming wrath? Produce good fruit as evidence of your repentance. 
And do not presume to say to yourselves, we have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God can raise up children to Abraham from these stones. Even now, the axe lies at the root of the trees. Therefore, every tree that does not bear good fruit will be cut down and thrown into the fire. I am baptizing you with water for repentance. But the one who is coming after me is mightier than I. I am not worthy to carry his sandals. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit and fire, his winnowing fan in his hand. He will clear his threshing floor and gather his wheat into his barn, but the chaff he will burn with unquenchable fire. The Gospel of the Lord. How can we make the Lord's path straight? We heard in the first reading the prophet Isaiah talk about the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of strength, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. And those can help us make the Lord's path straight. We cannot become complacent, which means we, we can't just kind of take everything as it comes and go my own way and think, all right, I'm fine doing my own thing, going my own way, but missing God's grace and God's goodness and God's love. That is living a shallow life. I was reminded of a movie that I saw, Lions for Lambs. It's a 90 minute fascinating story. It's very thought provoking with the different characters. It's three stories in this movie. The first is a politician, a very egotistical man who wants to become president and another a reporter mentions uh, goes to see him and wants to interview him but has no conscience just wants to to do him dirty really and then the another story that's happening at the same time is two soldiers in the Agani Ridge who are stuck there as the Taliban is closing in. The third story is about a professor, university professor, who is trying to convince a student to change his political beliefs, but the student is resistant. So it's very interesting. Each of these characters are complacent in some way. They think about themselves. They think about their own ways. They're missing out on God's way. And often we think that God's way is not the best, but the truth is his way is always the best. He gives us life. He gives us goodness. He gives us love. He gives us the best. How can we serve him and love him and love our neighbor? That is what we need to do to make his path straight. John the Baptist is encouraging everyone 
to repent. Because our sins cause us to miss God's love and his goodness. We just go on in our own lives. We think that nothing will happen, but that's why we here at the church offer confession because that gives us the opportunity to get rid of our sins that are holding us back, it makes us free again, ready to begin again, ready to focus on God and serving him and our neighbor better. Confession is available this Wednesday evening at the church at 6.30, and it will go until 7.20, which is just before the mass that we are offering for the Immaculate Conception. That is a holy day this week. And also we have confession on Saturdays from 2 to 3.30. Excuse me, yes, 2 to 3.30. And that will be before the 4 o'clock mass on Saturday. Confession is a beautiful sacrament that helps us to make the Lord's paths straight. We can all do that. And that is how we can prepare to welcome Christ on Christmas. Christmas is supposed to be a time of light and joy. If we become complacent, we miss out on that and we will not be ready for Christmas. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray. For the Pope's monthly intention, we pray that volunteer nonprofit organizations committed to human development, find people dedicated to the common good and sit senselessly seek out new paths to international cooperation. We pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that he will receive all the graces he needs to help the people of Sacred Heart in Waltham as that is as they transition away from being a parish staffed by the Franciscans to diocesan administration. We pray to the Lord. For our soldiers and police, as they defend us 
from unjust aggressors. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress, and in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. For those who have died, we pray to the Lord. And today, we pray for Maria Semino, for whom this Mass is being offered, on her 100th birthday from all her family. We pray to the Lord. We pray for all of the men who are studying to become deacons, especially our parishioner, Rick, on their retreat this weekend. And Father Jeremy is there this weekend. We pray for all of them for a successful retreat. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We know that you will answer them according to your will as we pray them in your son's holy name. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the loneliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Through 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope, and Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Maria Semino, whom you have called to, from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Joseph, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Stay, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolles peccata mundi. Don't know, be
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Creator of the stars of night, <clears throat> your people's everlasting light. O Christ, Redeemer, save us all, and hear your servants when they call. In pity, lest the ancient curse should doom to death our universe. O oh Lord, you came in truth and grace to save and heal a ruined race. You came the bridegroom of the bride as drew the world to evening tide, proceeding from a virgin shrine, the spotless victim all divine. At whose high name majestic now, all knees must bend, all hearts must bow, all things in heaven, all things below, shall call you Lord and God alone. O thou whose coming is with dread, to judge the living and the dead, preserve us while we dwell below from every insult of the foe. To God the Father, God the Son, and God the Spirit, three in one, loud honor, might, and glory be, from age to age eternally. Amen.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. So this evening, from 6 to 8, we have our youth group meeting. We meet in the rectory. And tonight, we are setting up the nativity scene just outside. It'll be lots of fun, and we could use all the help we can get. It'll be a lot of fun tonight. Tomorrow, at 7.30 to 8.30, we have choir rehearsal. Please join. Anyone is welcome. If you think, oh, I don't know how to sing, it's okay. They'll teach you. Please come and join us. It'll be lots of fun. The more, the merrier. And then this week on Thursday is a holy day of obligation for the Immaculate Conception. The mass schedule is Wednesday evening at 7.30, Thursday at 9 in the morning, and Thursday night at 7.30. It is a holy day of obligation for us. So that is the schedule. And we have an exciting announcement. This flyer's in the bulletin. We have a Santa brunch. All are invited to join us. You can meet Santa Claus. You can have a brunch all together. There will be games. There will be prizes. It's very exciting. You can get your tickets. They're not really tickets. You just need to sign up at the back of the church. And you can see Norma today at the back of the church. It's uh, the purple table back there near the tree. So you can get your tickets there. The cost is $5 a person, $15 for a family. Doesn't matter how many in the family, $15. So please come and join us. It'll be lots of fun. And there are more announcements in the bulletin, so please read those. Have a wonderful week, everyone. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass has ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Comfort, comfort, all oh my people, speak a peace, oh says our God. Comfort those who sit in darkness, mourning neath the sorrows low. Speak unto Jerusalem of the peace that waits for them. Tell her that her sins I cover and her warfare now is over. For the herald's voice is crying in the desert far and near, bidding all men to repentance since the kingdom now is here. Oh, that warning cry obey, now prepare for God away. Let the valleys try to meet him, and the hills bow down to greet him. Yea, her sins our God will pardon, blotting out each dark misdeed. All that well deserved his anger, he will no more see nor heed. She has suffered many a day, now her griefs have passed away. God will change her pining sadness into ever-springing glass.